Stay With It came to the annual convention of the National Society of Black Engineers and asked NSBE leaders to share their personal experience in engineering school, any advice that they can give current students, and how NSBE helped them to stay with it. The National Society of Black Engineers is definitely a support group. Among anything, our focus is academics. So when you're really going through those engineering courses that are difficult, you have that support group to go to. You have people who understand the courses you're taking, understand what you're doing, understand any difficulty you can have, and you can go to them in confidence. The mission of NSBE is to increase the number of culturally responsible black engineers who excel academically, succeed professionally, and positively impact the community. Establish uh, that, what I'm calling a network. You know, as a freshman, maybe you wouldn't use those terms. It could just be friends, but uh, you need people around you who are like-minded, who are also trying to do well. If you're struggling in school, one, don't be scared of your professors. I was, and I was like, they're not gonna help me. I don't know them. I only see them a couple times a week. Don't be scared. They will help you. What I always did if I was shy, I just talked to one of the people I knew in my room, and I said, hey man, there's this meeting. Um, there's free pizza, and he said, let's go. Uh, so I didn't have to go by myself. Make a goal poster. Uh, I, my goal poster in college was all the requirements to graduate, and every day I would just, every semester I would go there, up. Oh, we're taking calculus this semester, we can cross it off, and I would write the grade next to it. Softening those communication skills so that people understand and can appreciate what you're saying and aren't distracted by how you're saying it. If you hand somebody something with 18 equations on it, you know, that might nece not necessarily get across your point like, say, a picture would. The one thing I really advise people to do during internships is to see what other folks are doing. You know, not only focus on what you do, but find out what people who've been there for 15, 20 years have been doing. The cool thing about Nesby is that there are so many career opportunities and companies feel that Nesby is a great place to come and get their top town. Come to Nesby because it's a family, it's your support system, we build trainings for you so you can do interview skills, resume, writing. Because of that social connection you, you do kind of feel like a family and uh, when you come back to things like convention you start to see so many people you knew and came up with and uh, so that's, that's, you really start to kind of feel that, that family, that Nesby love. Nesby's taught me how to, how to work with people a lot better. You know, as an engineer, you're so, you're, it's all numbers. I, I sat in a, in a meeting with a company negotiating a proposal for a multi-million dollar grant to Nesby as a 25-year-old kid. Nesby has helped me by, do, by giving me exposure to different workshops, figure, telling me how to get funding for school, how to even write my application. Many Nesby mentors have read over my personal statement. The Nesby Career Center has been a great resource for employers to pull my resume and to provide me with access to different jobs that I probably wouldn't have had. Join Nesby, join SWE, uh, join SHIP, um, join any organization that, that you can as far as helping you uh, get the resources that you need. You can wear a suit and not be a professional NBA player or a rapper because those are your two options if you want to get rich and have a suit, but engineering is another one. Stay with it. 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 Engineering is difficult. Though your classes may be tough and rigorous, remember that the National Society of Black Engineers is here as your support. You're smart enough to do it, and you're capable enough to do it. So stay with it. <laughs>